Hello and welcome to this tutorial about random response analysis. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an excitation load based on a power spectral density profile, create modal damping, define solution parameters for random response analysis, and review RMS results. First, we need to retrieve the mesh model that we will use for this tutorial. Let's head to the location of the file pcb.gda and import the file by dragging and dropping it into a new database. Next, let's create and assign materials. We can go to the property browser and right click on materials. Then we can select import and import the material specification.xml file. As you can see, all materials are created and assigned for the PCB. Let's go to the Solution ribbon and choose Structural Dynamic Stress and choose Random Response. We can select all bodies and click OK. The Random Response solution now appears in the Solution Browser and the Analysis ribbon is displayed with the relevant loads and constraints. To apply the excitation load, let's go to Loads, Random Excitation. We can choose Table Definition and create an Amplitude Table. Let's choose the Frequency Amplitude option and define the values as shown. We can choose the excitation type as applied load and load type as scale factors. Then let's enable the scale factor DZ as one. Now we can specify the power spectral density by creating a random loading as shown. Let's apply this excitation load to the four mounting holes of the PCB and select OK. Now we can apply modal damping by selecting modal damping. We can select create to create a frequency versus fraction of critical damping table as shown. Let's click OK and OK again. Let's apply constraints to the mounting holes by selecting Constraints Fixed. We can check displacement in the X and Y directions and apply these constraints to the four mounting holes in the corners of the PCB. Kindly note that the Z displacement degree of freedom is left free in this case and that rotational degrees of freedom are not relevant for solid elements. Now we can automatically create some contacts between the PCB components by selecting Contact, Auto Contact. Let's set the selection method to all bodies and trim as secondary and main. Then we can set the contact type as tie and choose surface to surface. Now we can click OK and see that the contacts have been created. Before we can run the analysis, we need to define some solution parameters. To do this, we can right-click on the settings in the Solution Browser and choose Solver Settings. Let's set the solution parameters as shown.
Now we are ready to run the solution. To solve the random response analysis of the PCB, we can right-click on results in the solution browser and select Update. Now we can review the results. This completes the tutorial. Thank you for viewing.